Hi everyone, my name is Gail Alvarez and I'm a researcher here at Plenty Kids. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a really interesting topic, which is the gut microbiome and autism. So the gut microbiome or the microbiotic organisms that live in our gastrointestinal system is a really interesting topic in autism because we know that for some people on the spectrum, there are really well-known gastrointestinal difficulties that people can experience. Um, and there's been some theories that potentially there might be some differences in the gut microbiome and its relationship to the brain that might be different in people on the autism spectrum. However, the evidence in this area is really quite mixed. And part of this, uh, part of the reason for this is possibly because um, previous studies have been a little bit small in size or they've had a, bit, a few different methodological differences in the way that they've analyzed the microbiome. So the study we're talking to you today has just been published and it looked at the gut microbiome and some other clinical and um, diet information from children on the autism spectrum to really ask the question of whether there are differences in the gut microbiome in people on the spectrum. Um, now the research team looked at samples from the Australian Autism Biobank, which is a collection of clinical and biological information from families with children on the autism spectrum collected from across Australia, which was funded and supported by the Autism Cooperative Research Centre. The research team looked at 247 children on the autism spectrum, their siblings who shared the same environment as, as children on the spectrum, and children who weren't on the autism spectrum from the general community. And what the data showed was that there actually were no differences in gut microbiome between children on the spectrum and children not on the spectrum. Instead, what the data showed was that there were differences in diet between these groups of children. And in fact, restricted or more limited diets in children on the autism spectrum um, were related to less diverse um, gut microbiome profiles in these children. Now this is a really important finding. It really tells us that the relationship between the gut microbiome and autism might actually be moderated by dietary differences um, and that potentially claims about um, different types of therapies or treatments that might address um, the gut microbiome need to really look carefully about diet, diets in children and really a lot more research needs to be done to understand the relationship between diet um, and the gut uh, microbiome in children on the spectrum. So really interesting study, but lots more research to be done in this area.